Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a cute little treat box for you using the Autumn Expressions Bundle. Um, inside the box are these really yummy uh, Rip Van Wafer Pumpkin Spice. Uh, they actually say low carb on them, but I have tasted them and they are delicious. Um, you get a whole box of them. I've linked it on, from Amazon on my blog today. Two of them will fit inside the box. And then I've got the Autumn to Remember Designer Series paper that is in our scrapbooking section online. It's a really cute paper um, that you really should check out. Uh, you may not be able to see it, but we're also going to do some embossing right here with the new Birchwood embossing folder. All right, well, let's make the box first. Uh, you're going to need a piece of pecan pie cardstock that measures six and a half by nine and a half. Now there is a PDF on my blog that looks like this. It's got the measurements for you. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, just hop over there and grab it. All right, on, let's start with the long side. We're gonna do one and a half, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six and three fourths. Turn it to the short side and score it at one and a fourth and five and a fourth. All right, now, Grab your bone folder, and we want to burnish these lines, get them nice and crisp. This will help your box look nice and square. Okay, now we're going to do some cutting. Um, when you had it in your in your simply scored or on your trimmer, the first section that you scored on the long side over here is a one and a half inch section. We're going to cut off those two rectangles on either side and when you do that also go all the way to the second score line but only cut off that first square then take your scissors and snip off the corners okay so we're going to do the same thing over here on this side cut then cut this one off and then cut the corners now I like to use my smaller paper snips for these Tab, so I'm going to switch over. Now on the long side, we're going to go in and cut these score lines and cut off the corners here also. Okay, and then we're going to do that on the same side over here. There we go. There we go. And I'm just going to trim this because it looks like I cut on the inside of that score line. Okay, so there is what your piece looks like. If you wanna pause the video to take a look, that's exactly what it'll look like. All right, we're gonna take, um, I'm gonna use liquid glue and I'm gonna put liquid glue here on these tabs, uh, these middle tabs, and I'm gonna fold them into this back side, like this, okay? Then you're gonna put liquid glue here on the inside and we're just going to fold up and over it's like it's hugging the other side okay and I like to use my clothes pins to hold these together while they're drying and so we'll do that and we'll set that aside while we are working on the other parts all right so we're going to do some stamping the this uh, die set has this really unique die that looks like this. It creates this um, frame that folds um, and it also gives you these two really great uh, negative images here um, that are labels. So when you cut the whole thing you actually get two labels from the inside. We only need one of them so I've got a smaller piece of basic white and I'm going to stamp grateful for you right in the middle, and then we're gonna cut it out. Now you'll notice that one side of the frame is skinnier than the other. The skinnier side means that the, the negative part will be larger. The fatter side means the negative part will be smaller. And I think it's better if you use the larger for this. See how that sentiment fits in there better if you do the the larger opening. All right, and I'm also gonna grab some post-it tape because I really don't want this to move around when I'm die cutting it. All right, but before we do that, we've got a leaf 
that we're going to stamp and color. And I'm going to stamp this on crumb cake cardstock with Memento Black. And I'm going to use my Cajun Craze. And I've got the dark here. Um, you could probably use the light as well. Or just if you don't like Cajun Craze, you could use another color that you find in the paper that you're using. Pumpkin pie, cherry cobbler, old olive, even daffodil delight, although I think the color is, in here is Crush Curry. We don't have Stampin' Blends in Crush Curry, but your daffodil delight markers will do, will do fine in the place of, of uh, Crush Curry. Okay, the other thing that we're going to need to do when we bring over our cut and emboss machine is to emboss this little strip that's going to go across our, the flap that folds over. So we'll do that last. Let's do our die cutting first. All right, so put your frame in there. Let's get our plates lined up. And then we'll grab the die for this. Goes right there. Okay. And we're going to run this through. Like that. All right, let's see how we did here. There we go. Okay. Now I think we can. Oh, no, we got to do the embossing. I knew I was going to forget that. When you use an embossing folder, take all your plates off. You just need plate one. And then here is our, this is a very large embossing folder, but we're just going to do this little piece. And it's got this line here for you to line up the edge of your paper so that it'll be straight. And I'm just going to go in and out. And there we go. All right. I think we're ready to put it all together. Let's take these off and put in our pumpkin spice wafers. Those are good with coffee. Be a nice little afternoon pick-me-up. And this paper that I used, um, I used the trees on the first project, but I think this time I'm going to use the other side with the cute little animals. Like that. Okay, and then... We're going to put that embossed piece right there. Like that. Okay, and then we've got gold, beautiful gold ribbon. Um, we're going to sandwich this ribbon behind the tag. So make sure you do the ribbon before you adhere the tag. Okay, get those nice and straight. Snip, snip. And now, if I can dig my dimensionals out, I'm going to put the dimensionals on either side of that ribbon and do that right there. All right, now I'm using another embellishment. These gold, um, let's see, let me give you the correct name, Woven Golden Leaves. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue like that. Stick that woven leaf there. And then we'll get a dimensional. And it may not stick yet because that glue is wet, but we'll give it a try. Put our leaf right there. And then last but not least, I cut out a little bitty heart from wild wheat uh, this is from the wonderful thoughts dies um, any heart that you have will work if you have our old give it a whirl dies those are my favorite all right and there you go i think that's a pretty easy treat box you could make those for everybody at work and uh, would make a nice little afternoon coffee break all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you have questions, let me know. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. There are two other Autumn Expressions projects and that free PDF for you. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.